Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed, we are just actually getting ready to roll. So let's get our day started, guys. Let's come and ride along with the trucker Rudy today. Let's see what kind of goodies we are up to today. So don't go nowhere right after the intro. <laughs> starting to peek through over there yeah it's starting to come over the bushes there a little bit now yeah we love it nice beautiful sunny morning nothing better than uh, having a beautiful sunrise there you know yeah we got up when it was quite dark yet and got her going oh there was a deer just running over the highway there Right there to the right there, he's standing there in the ditch. <laughs> yeah, well, as long as they don't run over right in front of me, right? Then we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. But yeah, we've been going for about two hours already. So now uh, the sun has come up and time to start showing you some more goodies, right? Well, that's the plan anyways. We had 620 some miles to go today. So we got a good head start of that. And that was my plan anyways. Uh, get a good early morning start and then that way we can uh, be down at our delivery place tonight. And over there we just do trailer switches all the time. So uh, I think we will be uh, We'll be there bright and early, so uh, according to the GPS, I should be there at 5 o'clock this afternoon, although we will have to take a half an hour break somewhere, right? So, uh, so yeah, that's going to uh, be a little after 5 then, I think. I would say more like 5, 30, 6 o'clock by the time I get down there, but, but yeah be down there today that's for sure we got to unless we have issues with the truck right but yeah we got 42 miles to go and we'll be on i-94 we're currently on the highway 53 us 53 just cruising right on down the highway appreciate you guys all tuning in today again I know we got some very loyal subscribers. They watch every single video. And we want to say thank you for all of you guys that are that loyal to my channel and watching us every day. We appreciate all of you guys. Even the ones that don't watch every day, we appreciate you guys tuning in every once in a while at least, you know. And for those of you that share our video, we appreciate that very much too. Because that's how people find out about my channel, you know, if you share the video and on your social media sites and whatnot, you know, that's how people uh, how people see it on there and all of a sudden they say, oh, let's go check out this guy, you know. They check out and if they like what they see, they will subscribe, right? And that's what we like. Yes, indeed. But yes, not any, uh, no wind or anything like that today, it feels like. So, uh, felt like earlier when I took off, there was a little bit of a wind, but right now it looks like it's died down. It's quiet now. So that's nice. We'll get good fuel mileage that way. And I got a comment there on one of my videos there uh, the last day or two or whatever. And obviously by the time you watch this, it's probably been uh, seven days ago when you watch this. But when I recall from the time when I recorded it, because I'm seven days behind on my videos, right? And the reason why I do that is because uh, that gives me time to work on the videos, upload them. And I don't always have internet, so, so you got to keep that in mind. But uh, what I was going to say is, 
I got a comment there the other day uh, saying that my screen uh, or my camera went really dark when I turned on to the interstate there. And I know it does happen. I got my uh, GoPro set that it automatically adjusts the uh, brightness because you know sometimes it's brighter, sometimes it's darker. So that way it automatically adjusts according to what it's think thinking is what it thinks it needs to be at. And most of the times it does do a very good job. The only time it's kind of hard to do is when you go directly into the sun. And that's going to be like that with every camera, you know. No matter what kind of camera you have, if you look directly into the sun without any kind of filters in front of the uh, screen or in front of the lens, it's, you know, you're not going to see it much. <laughs> and, yeah. <clears throat> And uh, the thing is, for me, it's hard to know when it actually does that because the GoPro doesn't have a screen, so I can't see it. And the other thing is, I'm not supposed to look at the cameras anyways, right? While I'm driving down the road, so so that might be a bonus, so you can't really look at the screen because it's got no screen, right? But anyways, uh, we're hammered down. We'll be on I-94, like I said here in a few. About another 40 minutes we'll be on the interstate although this is just as good as an interstate I would say this highway is pretty nice it's two lane each direction looks just like an interstate but it isn't but yeah here we go let's put the hammer down and let's continue on with our journey hey guys we are here at the uh, Black Rare Folks Wisconsin uh, Flying J and they got a shop right over there we just finished getting our say uh, grease job. Look at that, guys. Everything nice and greased up. I lowered uh, my suspension there. We're going to get our ready to back or under back underneath our trailer. So, uh, yeah, had all my brakes checked and all that good stuff. So that we, uh, you know, because it's safety week this week, brake safety week. So that way we know our brakes are all good. Yeah, that's right. But anyways, let's go ahead and back under the trailer and get out of here. All right, let's get out of here, guys. Yeah. Got our windshield cleaned. Got some more windshield washer fluid. I'm starting to run a little low. Got my grease job done. I asked them to check my brakes and all of that good stuff. They measured my brakes. And then, as you saw, we backed underneath that trailer there again. And I figured I'd give you guys a little tip like that. When uh, when you have the grease job done or whatever, then uh, lower your suspension. Usually you have a button to lower your airbags. Basically, that's what we call lowering our suspension. And then... Uh, what I do is I, uh, I back her almost all the way to where I know the uh, pin is going to connect and then I lift up the suspension. I stop like I stop and then I lift up the suspension and then, uh, and then I back all the way underneath there so that way I don't have the grease all the way in the front and basically wiping it off on the front of the trailer and by the time you're up to the uh, kingpin you got all the grease wiped off of there you know and this way you can actually keep it on the on the uh, fifth wheel you know like the way you wanted it the way it's designed for so that way when you're you know steering somewhere when you're making a turn the actual fifth wheel is actually nice and smooth greased up so yeah every once in a while little tips like that can help Especially for somebody that's uh, just getting into trucking or wants to learn about trucking or whatever, you know, might be a good tip for you. I know some guys uh, ask me for tips, so uh, on uh, on trucking and stuff like that. So every once in a while, I do uh, try to give come up with ideas on you know what can uh, maybe help your job, make it easier or just you know ideas and that way you guys can see a little bit all that good stuff and another thing that's really important after you hook your trailer back up is do a tug test i can't stress that enough 
Too many people forget to do that. Or for a matter of fact, even if you're just staying overnight at a truck stop somewhere, do a tug test in the morning because sometimes we do have uh, some bad people out there and they go pull the handle out so you're uh, you're not hooked up to your trailer anymore. And if it's in winter, your fifth wheel could be kind of frozen and then you go take off and you get a couple of miles down the road and all of a sudden you, you know, hit a bump or whatever and that breaks that fifth wheel and you could lose your trailer. And that's, you know, terrible, but it does happen every once in a while. But yeah, anyways, we're out of here. We're making our way down to Lebanon. Here we go, coming into Indiana, guys. Yes, indeed, look at that. Oh, and that looks like we got us a bag up over here, Crossing it looks border. like. Entering Indiana. Yeah, entering Indiana. That's right. I don't know what the backup is, but it is starting to get closer to that rush hour time, I guess. So, I guess we can expect that. But yeah, it's 2.30 in the afternoon, so I guess we can suspect to... Uh, start getting a little traffic up here but yeah we've been just giving her today been cruising pretty good all day long so far now we're starting to get a backup so i guess we're gonna just have to deal with that not sure it almost looks like there's some kind of construction going on up there that's probably why almost looks like they got the left lane closed or something up there from the looks of it too far probably for the camera to pick up, but at least we are still rolling, at least we're not at a standstill. But yeah, we already got us a reload, so we're going to be reloading out of the same place as we were delivering this load, well basically just trailer switch up there, right? So. We don't actually have to wait till they get unloaded or reloaded or anything. It's just a trailer switch and we're out of there. Yeah, I was kind of hoping I was going to get me a nice trip from there to Toronto and then home or something like that. But no, that's not the case. They decided to just send me home from there. So, but I guess that's all right too. I don't know why this particular lane is moving so slowly. Everybody beside me is going faster. Well, I guess now it's starting to pick up. But all the other lanes were going like way faster than this lane, but now oh well. Yes, that's the way it goes sometimes. But anyways, oh God, it's another two hours to go or two hours and 15 minutes and we can keep the speed limit and now we'll be uh, at our delivery place so I guess we'll uh, continue cruising here and then uh, go from there I guess well guys we only have about an hour worth of driving left to do till we get to our delivery I just made me a quick pit stop here a few minutes ago and and me a bite to eat and figured out yeah, let's continue on cruising along there to get to our uh, delivery and then uh, we'll go take care of that hopefully my uh, reload will be ready as well which I said earlier I've never had an issue there so load should be ready when we get there but yeah, then we, uh, we're just gonna turn and burn, go back home. And I'm just gonna take another reset when I'm home, and then we'll be uh, hammered down again. So it looks like uh, today is Monday. I'll be home Wednesday night. Probably go out on uh, Friday again. So we'll have to work the weekend again. But hey. That's part of trucking sometimes, time zone. especially if you want to make money, you got to work the weekends, especially here at Penners, they just seem to be able to uh, get you better runs when we work the weekend, 
Yeah, well, that's all right. This this month, I told my wife, I said, I got to run her hard all the way to the end of the month, and then uh, we got to do the safety on the truck, and then uh, we'll go from there, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's life as a trucker, eh? And that could be another tip for today, you know, like if you thinking about getting into trucking, be prepared. But you're going to be gone a lot of weekends and a lot of... You're going to be on the road uh, a lot and then uh, you're going to be gone from your family a, a lot, you know. And uh, all that good stuff, you got to think about that. But. Yeah, we got a little construction going on up here, but it's about time Indiana starts fixing their road. I don't know where they're taking the money from, but it's about time they fix the road. That's all I care about, right? <laughs> yeah, look at that. That farmer over there is trying to get his crop off of his field. That's awesome. Looked like they had corn. Uh, looks like it's corn. But yeah. Wow, they're trying to get it off real quick. Well, they better get it today because uh, it's probably going to be raining tomorrow. Well, it looks like they're just making hay out of that or something like that. Or uh, feed for the cattle. That's what it looks like. It doesn't look like they... Well, oh yeah, it looks like they have already gotten the crop. Now they're just taking the rest of it off to probably make uh, uh, food for the cattle. Yeah, that's one way to do it. But yeah, so we're gonna hammer down and we'll see if we get parking there at the Flying J once we are done uh, picking up our uh, trailer. I already looked at my hours and it looks like I'll have about 45 minutes left on the book. So I might be able to go a little bit back. So we'll see. I'm going to keep an eye on it uh, when I go down there to see if there's anything uh, maybe within half an hour or something like that where I can park or maybe there's a rest area up here on the other side too. And then I could probably make it up to there. Just spend the night there because I know that Flying J gets full really quickly up there. So, so yeah. Oh yeah, there is a rest area right there. This would be a little tough making it up to here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm just looking at them two trucks over there. They kind of cut that other truck off there. I don't think the camera saw that or it was probably not able to capture that quite. Because it's too far away, right? But uh, yeah, that didn't look good. Them guys were cutting that guy off there. Yeah, yeah, it happens every once in a while out here. We have just gotten our loaded trailer. As I told you, I've never had to wait over here. It was no different today. Now we're going to go over to the flying hook and see if we can get us a parking spot. We'll be done for today. And you might think, where is the flying hook, right? Well, literally down the block. <laughs> One block down, that's it. <laughs> that's all we gotta go. There's one block. Yeah. But that's nice though. Nice and easy. Don't have to go too far. Just go right here. And then we're at the flying hook already. Easy as that, ladies and gentlemen. And we have arrived at the flying hook. <laughs> the screen probably just went dark there because the camera is looking into the sun, but hopefully you guys don't mind it too much. You can still see me. I mean, you can look at my ugly face for a few minutes. <laughs> see how I did that? That was easy, wasn't it? So let's go find us a parking spot. Uh, I came in here about half an hour ago, not in this truck stop, but around the corner there, and there was plenty of parking. I don't get why people got to park right here, though. That's something I don't understand, but some people just feel they got to park right here in the front, or like right here, just because they can. 
Yeah, oh, there's another Penner right there. Yeah, a great Penner truck. I've seen that truck before. I believe I have. Yeah, I thought I seen a few parking spots here in the back. Yeah, it looks like there's one right there. Or actually one right there at the corner, but I don't really like parking there. Reason being is, uh, you know, somebody taking that corner too sharp or something like that. You won't uh, have a hood anymore. <laughs> but yeah, so that's back in the spot, and then we'll talk with you guys later. Alrighty, guys, I've had me a good night's sleep already. Yeah, that's right. And it was a good night's sleep. Didn't even finish my video yesterday, but hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. Now that sun is nice and bright this morning, so, uh, but anyways, I figured, you know what, let's finish off my video and let's get out of here. So I appreciate all of you guys watching today's video, so let's stick around for tomorrow and we'll show you some more goodies. <laughs>